¿Qué pasa Gandolfos? Bienvenidos un día más al Paraíso Retro. Bueno, en el vídeo de hoy os voy a enseñar una partida a un juego para PSP que se llama Mi Mana Illar Chronicle. Que es un juego que fue programado, publicado y, y distribuido por Gunho para, eh, para PSP en 2009. Llegando tras su salida en Japón a Estados Unidos el 30 de marzo de 2010 de la mano de Akis Games. Se ha tratado un entretenido action RPG que, ve, eh, que pese a que no fue muy bien recibido, a mí por lo menos me parece un juego bastante sólido. El juego tiene una vista así como isométrica, más que cenital, eh, que vamos como otros juegos del género, vamos a vamos a, a viajar por todo tipo de, de localizaciones como ciudades, pueblos, mazmorras por supuesto y, y castillos y todas esas cosas, habiendo las típicas tiendas eh, la posibilidad de eh, hablar con otros personajes eh, y ese tipo de cosas de, de, típicas del género eh, eh, lo que son en las afueras de las ciudades y en las mazmorras, las cuales van a ser cada vez más enrevesadas y laberínticas, hay encuentros aleatorios con enemigos. Aunque no se resuelven como eh, los encuentros no se re, eh, resuelven con combates por turnos, sino que son combates en tiempo real, en el que eh, podemos mover a nuestro personaje solo al protagonista, los demás personajes no podemos eh, cambiar el control, sino que actúan por su cuenta. Y lo que debemos hacer es manejar eh, el, nuestro personaje y... y, y dar espadazos o ataques mágicos al enemigo en, en las batallas vamos a por supuesto a, a manejar el protagonista que es Craig que podemos hacer un combo de tres golpes un, un ataque especial cubrirse utilizar objetos además de tener la opción de huir de la batalla nos, eh, nos acompañarán otros personajes que también combatirán a nuestro lado aunque no podemos controlarlos directamente aunque es que eh, lo que podemos hacer es darles instrucciones para que realicen un hechizo o utilicen un objeto si nuestro personaje muere en, en combate tenemos que confiar en que nuestros compañeros acaben con los enemigos por sí mismos porque ya no les podemos, vamos a poder darles instrucciones ni podemos controlarlos este sistema de combate tiene cierto parecido a los que hay en la saga Tales o en la saga Star Ocean. Más de la saga Star Ocean porque en la de Tales eh, los escenarios no tienen profundidad y no podemos ir a, a arriba y abajo y este tipo de cosas. Eh, técnicamente, a nivel técnico, tiene unos gráficos bastante buenos, con unos personajes bien realizados y diferenciados unos de otros, con que se mueven fluidamente, con unas animaciones bastante decentes. Eh, y sobre todo son, se, ven, eh, se, ven, se ven mejor van a ser las batallas eh, hay una buena una variedad de enemigos aunque no todos tienen un diseño bueno no tiene demasiado bueno aunque hay otros que sí que están bastante bien y los jefes de fin de fase son bastante resultones vamos a encontrarnos con escenarios también muy variados y tallados en general tienen un aspecto bastante interesante y una buena ambientación lo malo de, de este apartado es que es que la música eh, no es demasiado buena ya que hay pocas piezas musicales y no son no podremos no podremos decir que son memorables no son malas pero no son de estas que se, que te, se te quedan en, eh, en la cabeza los efectos de sonido sí que están bastante bien, sobre todo las voces que están bastante bien interpretadas. Eh, eh, el problema en lo jugable es que, aunque eh, el, es eh, un juego bastante interesante, tiene algunos problemas, sobre todo con, con cernientes a los intricados que son las mazmorras. Que, tal vez demasiado y a un encuentro aleatorio con enemigos bastante alto. 
Eh, también eh, un problema es la escasa variedad de movimientos que tiene el protagonista y la no posibilidad de controlar el resto de miembros del equipo. Además de esto, eh, debido a que el radio de encuentros es bastante alto y, y que lo, las mazmorras son bastante laberínticas, el ritmo de juego se puede hacer algo lento. Eso sí, los menús de acción y estado, además del control, son muy sencillos y nuestro, nuestro personaje es muy, es muy fácil de usar y responde bien al, al, al control, a, a, a los botones de la portátil. El juego tiene una buena extensión y nivel de dificultad algo elevado, sobre todo porque en ocasiones nos vamos a encontrar con enemigos muy, muy poderosos en momentos iniciales del juego. Aún así, me parece un juego interesante, bastante entretenido, y que no son, no son, no tiene tampoco, no, tampoco veo tan pro, eh, tanto problema. Sí, se, puede, se echa de menos un ritmo algo más, menos pausado, pero yo creo que está bastante bien como está. Y bueno, eso es todo por ahora, espero que os haya gustado el vídeo. Dadle a me gusta si ha sido así, comentad lo que opináis de este juego, visitad mi blog Mundo Retro Gaming, eh, suscribiros a mi canal, nos vemos en el siguiente vídeo. Hasta luego. I think of it always, the sacred blue star shining in the sky above us. I heard once that all across its surface, life blossoms and grows everywhere. Someday, I would like to go there myself. I would like to feel its fresh air upon my skin. Someday, I will. I, I am a priestess of Alto. Thousands of years have passed, and this is all I can do. I can only watch and pray, and wait, for the time, the time when you awake, in the blue and abundant land of ER, and call out to me. So please, let my words reach you, my feelings, My song, let them reach you in your slumber.
Grace, you rascal! I figured I'd find you here. Come on, let's go. Time for me to turn those losses around. Let's have it! Show those cards! Oh, piss off! You wanna play? You gotta pay! Maybe you got the best hand in the world, but it doesn't matter without the money! Ain't that right, Mr. Grace? <laughs> what a joke! Can't even afford this low of a buy-in! <laughs> Looks like the Mercenaries Guild's greatest swordsman has hit rock bottom! Ah, damn it! Hey, Grace! We got work! W-O-R-K, work! What are you doing here? What the hell does the Mercenaries Guild want with me? I'm busy, pal. Bugger off. Is that any way to greet a friend? All I wanted to do was tell you about a job offer, but... What? A job offer? For me? Yeah, well, God knows why, but they asked for you, specifically. They asked? Then they must have paid in advance. Give me the money, now! Yes, there's your damn buy-in, jackass. Not so confident now, are you? Read them and weep, boys. No problem, champ. Take a look. Black King, Red King, Blue King. Black, Red, and Blue Queens. <laughs> I don't think I'll be doing the weeping. No way! <laughs> Sorry, Crace. Now get out of here, you bum! You... you cheated! What the hell did you just say to me? Hey there, Mr. Crace. You forgot the rules of the Mercenaries Guild already? Really? It's your fault for not catching a cheater in the first place. But hey, it's not like we got to cheat to fleece a chump like you. So, if that's the last of your money, I think it's time you got out of that chair. The guild's waiting for you, right? Let's, uh, go meet your client. <laughs> well, you already got your down payment. I think you know what comes next. You know what'll happen if you run off. Fine, let's get this over with. I know I'll have guild goons all over my ass the moment I break that contract. So don't you worry your pretty little head. Give me money, I'll do my job. Alright then. This way. Your client's waiting for you. Now get the hell out of here! The song. What a beautiful voice. Brings back some bad memories. What? Huh? You say something? No, nothing. Song. 
Not even festival season yet, and we already got this kid troubadour. Oh, that kid you're talking about is the girl who hired you. What? This has got to be a joke. That kid? Hiring me? <laughs> That's a laugh. Hey, ma'am. Good timing. I tracked him down for you. <laughs> this is the spell sword you asked for. Grace Sewell. Oh, well, um, hello. My name is Sophie Rothorn. Nice to meet you. You can't be serious. All right. You're just gonna have to ask Sophie here for the details. Don't screw this up, Grace. Whoa, who said I'm doing this? Who take a job from a kid? Ralph, buddy, pal, you of all people should know how much I hate kids. So what? You took her advance quick enough. Kid or not, she paid for you. Now man up and do your job. What, too much for you? Fine. Give the girl her money back. Go back to being unemployed, loser. Damn. Well, I, I can't really do that. Well, if you can't give her money back, then give the girl what she paid for. <sighs> Damn it. Hey, kid. Yes? Looks like I don't have a choice here. I'm taking your job. But I hate kids. You hired me fair and square, but don't think that means I'm going to be some kind of kiss-ass. Got it? Yes. Thank you, Mr. Sewell. <sighs> so, um, what is it you want me to do? Well, I'm looking for seven gems that are hidden throughout Floral Moss. I need you to be my bodyguard, Mr. Sewell, until I found all of the gems. <laughs> so a treasure hunt, huh? Well, you paid for me. I'm yours. Where are we going to start? Well, I was thinking, perhaps we could start with the Coastal Cave. The Coastal Cave? Huh. You mean that little hole, east of Krupp Coast? I'm sorry. I know of the name, but I don't know where it is. Whatever. As long as I get paid, I could care less. The Krupp Coast is going to be southwest from the West Gate. Come on, kid. Let's go. listening to me sing earlier. So? He was crying. He just got separated from his mother. Poor child. <sighs> Damn, he's loud. Look, I'm sure his mom will show up any time now, alright? He's fine. You think so? Come on, that cave's not gonna come to us. Uh, okay. Come on, kid, move it! Okay. And you wonder why I hate kids. You're hopeless.
Ready, guys? I'll do my best. Ready, guys? I'll protect you! journey begins! I'm so excited! <laughs> Pretty carefree kid. <laughs> Get back, kid! Yes! Let's go! I'll do my best! Yeah! <laughs> Come on, kid, you're gonna freak out over this? You really are a baby, aren't you? You sure you're really looking for a gym, not a pacifier or something? <laughs> <sighs> Kids like you ought to be home tugging on her mom's apron strings. Why are you out here, getting yourself in all sorts of trouble? Mr. Sewell, my name isn't Kid. It's actually Sophie. I'd like it if you call me that. And besides, my mom died six months ago from some sort of illness. Oh, well, I... Mr. Sewell, please don't be so moody. I need your help, and that means I need your powers. Hey, I don't need you to tell me that. Don't you worry, I'll do my job. I want the rest of my money. All right, kid, let's get going. Okay. Ready, guys? I'll protect you! 
Let's go! I'll protect you! Yeah! 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 Tuh, yeah! Ready, guys? I'll protect you! Let's go! Here they come! Ready, guys? I'll do my best. Yeah! Ch ch uh. ch 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 uh. Yeah! Yeah! Ch yeah! Yeah! Ch uh. ch yeah! Ch ch yeah! Yeah! Ch yeah! Yeah! All right! Thank you very much! Let's go! I'll protect you! Yeah! 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 
Hang in there! Yeah. All right! Sorry. Ready, guys? I'll do my best. Yeah! Ready, guys? I'll protect you! Yes! Good job, everybody! Let's go! I'll protect you! Ready, guys? Here they come! Yes! Sorry! Let's go! I'll protect you! Yes! Good job, everybody!
Let's go! I'll do my best! Yeah! 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 Ready, guys? I'll protect you! Hang in there! Hang in there! Alright! Sorry! the deal with this huge crab it it seems to be drawing power from the gems who would have thought this job would be so dangerous are we going to be all right mr soul let's go here they come well i don't think this guy is going to cut us much slack <sighs> hey don't worry kid this is what you hired me for right yes We made it. Mr. Sewell, thank you so much. Eh, just doing my job, kid. I know, but still, thank you very much. <sighs> Come on, let's get that gem or whatever the hell it is and head back to town. Okay. So this is a dead end. Doesn't look like there's any gym here, kid. What's this big stone for? Looks pretty old. Is this a grave or something? I'm sorry, Mr. Soul, but could you wait here for a bit? What's up, kid? What are you up to? I'm sorry, I just need to be able to concentrate. Lemon, Lemon. Mark Arsu Sornam! Cloister of Time, open! What 
was that? This is one of the gems. I would never have been able to find it without your help. Thank you very much, Mr. Su. Sure, no problem. Well, I guess you weren't playing around when you said you needed a bodyguard. So what's the deal with these gems? And why is a little kid like you running around the world trying to find them? Who are you exactly? Um... Well, once I've gathered all of the gems, I'll be able to enter the Temple of Water. The Temple of Water? Yes. It was lost long ago, in the flow of time. But it's a very important temple. It's connected to the root of the world. I can't tell you my reasons. But I have to gather all of the gems and get to the temple. No matter what. So really, you can't tell me anything. Sorry. Please, believe me, Mr. Sewell. I'm not trying to do something bad with the gems. I promise. <sighs> if you say so, kid. As long as I get paid, you can use them to take over the world for all I care. You just tell me where to go and what to hit. I took this job, so whether I trust your intentions or not isn't really the point. So we're done here, right? Let's get back to the city. No way in hell am I camping out here. Okay. Mr. Sewell, thank you for your help today. Let's go! Here they come! Yeah! All right! Good job, everybody! Let's go! Here they come! Alright! Thank you very much! Let's go! Here they come! Alright! Good job, everybody! All right, we got an early day tomorrow. Time to head back to the inn and sleep. Nothing good will come of staying up all night at your age. Okay. The innkeeper can show you to your room. I've already paid for our rooms. Separate rooms, of course. Of course. <laughs> oh, but please keep in mind that I don't have a lot of money. So if you need to rest when, you know, we don't have to... <laughs> You're telling me if I want to take a rest, it's coming out of my pocket? A little tight-fisted, aren't you? I'm sorry. Eh, I'm just kidding. I'm a pro, kid. I wouldn't make my employer spend money on me if she didn't have to. Hmm. Let's get moving. <laughs> 